And our Sunday roundtable looking at how the president and Republicans in the Senate reshaping the federal judiciary and joining us for the conversation is Nan Aaron, the president of Alliance for Justice, and John Malcolm, who is with the Heritage Foundation. And I know the two of you will have disagreements, but with the wearing of the green, both of you, <laughs> happy St. Patrick's Day. Our apologies <laughs> to our radio audience, but uh, the green tie and, and the green blouse. So thank you very much for being with us. I want to begin, though, with the comments of the new chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, at the CPAC conference last month. They tried to destroy him, and it blew up in their face. And I'm hoping that they understood that America is not exactly where they are. And if they don't understand it now, they're going to understand it in 2020. <laughs> Elections matter. I'm chairman of the Judiciary Committee. That matters. <laughs> judges, more judges, then some more judges. So Mitch McConnell's been great on this issue. We're going to process as many conservative judges as we can. We're in charge of that committee, and we're going to use it wisely. You know, every day somebody in the House stands up and begs Nancy Pelosi to bring to the floor the pain capable bill, which would ban abortion on demand in the fifth month of the pregnancy. She is not listening, but they're trying in the House. I'm going to bring that bill up in the Senate. Yeah. Elections matter. So as you hear the chair in those words, your reaction? Well, elections do matter, uh, and, and the president has done a pretty good job with respect to judges. Uh, he's done an excellent job with respect to federal appellate court judges, uh, but there is a lot more work to do. I mean, there have been other past presidents who have confirmed more judges at this point in their administration than Donald Trump, and there are currently 141 vacancies uh, on the federal judiciary, 80 of which have been declared to be judicial emergencies. Uh, so Senator Graham has his work cut out for him uh, on the Senate Judiciary Committee. But certainly in terms of you know, pushing against a lot of uh, delaying tactics by the Democrats, uh, getting 36 federal appellate judges uh, through in two years, that's certainly quite noteworthy. But with all fairness, is there any sense of hypocrisy with the Republicans blocking a number of nominees that Barack Obama put forth, hence so many vacancies? We could have a very long discussion about that. I would actually contend that they didn't block very many judges uh, of, uh, of Barack Obama's. Uh, and of course, as a result of what they perceived to be obstructionist tactics, Harry Reid uh, made the decision for good or ill to exercise a nuclear option in November 2013. Uh, I'm quite sure that a number of Democratic senators sincerely regret having done that at this point. Nan Aaron. 